All right, the next story quest is saying goodbye, given to us by Runar in Slitherbow. Imagine that. Words fail to express my gratitude for this kindness you have done for the blessed. I must insist you and your friends attend Todia's service as honored guests. There's still much we must do to prepare, so, but please go and inform the others it will be held in the, in the darker, capital D. When you arrive, there should be an attendant present to explain the proceedings. I just sprayed... Uh, so it snowed in Nashville for the first time this winter. Um, it started Sunday night, I believe, while we were sleeping. And Monday was my first day, this year at least, of um, Uber Eats deliveries in the snow. And I made... I got two separate people within like the span of an hour and a half gave me $20 tips each in cash. Just a $20 bill, which is awesome. Today, also made a good amount of money, but no like extra cash tips. But um, but I sprayed my boots with uh, like a boot spray. It's supposed to help keep the the moisture out, the water out, which I thought my boots already would do, but they did not do it yesterday and the smell of the boot spray is um, interesting I have much ventilation so I should be fine but Thancred is here I haven't seen you in a while talking to Minfilia Mercy and I learned so much about the Knights Blessed while you were away and we helped them recover a lost heirloom out in the woods I know it wasn't I know I wasn't supposed to leave but they really needed our help they were there were sin eaters and as long as she accompanied you, but do but do try to be more careful. Your injuries could have been a lot worse. How how did you? Let's just say a little bird told me, and it's no, and it's telling me now that Mercy has business with us. Is something the matter? She asked me. Now, he explained. They've asked us to attend the service. Of course we'll go. It's being held in the darker, is it? We'll take care not to be late. I promise. And indeed, I shall go straight to the dark girl via this winding underground path. Whoa! I don't know why I'm, I don't know, I don't know why I'm Drac Dracula all of a sudden, but, but that's what I am, I guess. Placid Elder. So, we have a, kind of a thin tunnel with some sections of runes on either side and some um, sconces? Is that the right word? So, like, picture of a wall and then there's a two foot by two foot chunk of the wall missing and it goes back another two feet but it's like it's not per it's not a perfect cube it's just you know it's just a chunk of wall missing and there are candles with blue flames did you guys not know that blue light is bad for your sleeping habits like you guys need to learn this but when we get into the inner chamber there are I was gonna say roots, but these look like stone stalactites, but some of them, like one, two, three, four, like they go all the way down to the floor. Kind of like stone teeth. Teeth made of rock jutting from the ceiling down to the floor. Down to the, down to the floor, and I gotta the, uh, make it so good I don't wanna leave. And, okay, here's Placid Elder. Any female? Yeah, you look female. I just get a dot 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 from her. The elder, the elderly woman hands you a candle. She then points over to, at a nearby corner where you might place it. Okay, I will go to there and do the thing. Blue flamed candle. What? Target not, your mom's not in range. I'm in range now. I placed the candle and now we have another destination to wait probably. Waiting, 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 done. Cutscene. Honestly, this, this boot thingy, this boot spray smells like, God, it's a very familiar smell, but I can't remember why. Like paint lacquer, maybe? It seemed only right that we show our faces. May we join you? Ishtola. Of 
course, baby. Funky cat lady. Funky cat white mage. I'm kind of like you. I'm a cat white mage, too. Me coat. Cat, whatever. Runar comes in slowly, followed by a... Um, a woman holding a kind of like pillow thing with that green gem on it, the jade. It's some it's a bit like a soul stone, soul heart heart let stone. Let us begin, says Runar. Sorry, let us begin. Let us begin. There's actually a well, or I don't remember this being in the room previously, but it looks like there's a well in the middle of the room. Lots, lots and lots and lots of blue flame candles. I thank you all for coming to pay respects to our fallen daughter of the night. In the light, she was known as Todia. But in the dark, we shall remember her always as Menin. Hmm. Let us each take a moment to offer her our prayers. Menin was her true name. A bunch of people are sitting or and or kneeling on the floor. Everybody's heads are down at this point in time, remembering, you know, kind of moment of silence kind of thing. He grabs the gem in two hands. We entrust her now to the knight's sweet embrace. As if he's cupping water, but he's cupping the gem in his hands. And I'm assuming... In darkness will she be free from pain and suffering, now and forevermore. I think he's about to drop the gem into this, like, well... May her soul find peace in the sunless sea of heaven, and in the love we bear for her in our hearts. He doesn't drop it, but he, like, lowers the gem in his hands into this well water. Let's it go. It drops to the ground. It drops to the bottom. It starts to shine brightly and more and more brightly. And now it's this. That vessel represents the night sky, the sunless sea of heaven. A singular source of light, just white light. I mean, you would think it'd be green, but it's, it seems to be white at the bottom of this well, a few feet deep. Oh, and then several lights of varying colors, reds yellows greens light up here previous soul gems heartstone gems i would assume all mingling together a, sh a look of awe on my face and menphilia's a little bit as well and then a look of resolve we call upon you now O bringer of shadow to lead this gentle soul onto the sea we call upon you O warrior of darkness to deliver her onto paradise everlasting. Everyone still taking a knee, being thoughtful, aside from myself, Menfila the Scions. Um, and then the cutscene goes dark as it pans up and everyone has left or is... I am told you assisted in the preparations for the service. On behalf of the blessed, you have my sincerest thanks. I got thanks from other people, but thank you as well, I guess. The enduring legend of the Warrior of Darkness owes much to the traditions of these people. And none were more ardent in their faith than Todia. She would have been greatly moved by your presence. I should like to have met her, or you know I don't deserve such reverence, or dot dot dot. I should like to have met her. Cutscene kind of goes down a bit. You might not deliver her to the heavens, but if you could deliver the night sky to her people, the real night sky, it would be the next best thing. We all turn to her. Their prayers would finally be answered. They could gaze up at the firmament and see their ancestors in every twinkle of the stars. Why does her voice sound different than I recall? Is it just me? I think it's probably just me, but I don't know. 
We cannot allow their hopes and dreams to drown in the light. We have to bring back the dark. If we don't, who will? Forgive me, thinking of all those we have lost. I... No, it's all right. We will bring back the dark. Mayhaps sooner than later, in fact. Orionje and I have finished deciphering the tablet, and its contents were most illuminating. Let us reconvene in my chambers. We have much to discuss. Okay. What the crap? I just watched an Instagram video of, of Bernoulli's principal and I'm not entirely sure why it worked the way it did. Like air wants to join other air in, in airflow. But still. All right, Yishtola. Good, you're here. Thanks to the Exarch's gift, our next course of action is now clear. Saying goodbye is complete. Blue, uh, wait. Blue spirit hand gear coffer. So item level 403 hand gear coffer we got. I have not been opening, have I? No, wait. Here's headgear. There's hand head. Yeah, I want to get my jobs up to appropriate levels to actually take advantage of that. So, I think, yeah, for now, yeah. Anyway, the sponsor and non-sponsor for this video is Better Foods Coconut Oil. If you're like me and you're keto or you just want to use an, uh, an oil that is better for you, coconut oil is fantastic. It has a much lower smoke point than other oils that you can use for cooking so just be aware of that but it's, it has literally never been an issue for me um, i use it daily to kind of reheat add a little bit of um moisture is the wrong word because it's not water but it adds like some fluid dynamic a little bit like i could add more obviously and get more fluid dynamic but um, I, I have it every day in my chicken um, concoction that I take with me for, for food every day. Um, I also do not like the, the taste of coconut. And coconut oil is not supposed to taste like coconut as far as I have read online. And this one does not. Great price. Doesn't taste like coconut. Great for keto. Purchase it with my link and you will get I will get a cut. I'll see you next time.